Hey, what's up ladies and gentlemen, it is Cody Carpenter here from the YouTube channel Cody Knows. If you are not subscribed to my YouTube channel, smack that subscribe button and the notification bell to stay up to date with all my future videos. And in this video, I'm going to do an overview of the Facebook special ads category. So let's get into this. What is the special ad category? So according to Facebook ads, you are required to declare if your ads are related to credit, employment, housing, social issues, elections, or politics. So when you're setting up your Facebook campaigns, you might have noticed recently that there's an option to check the special ad cat categories box. And if you're not quite sure uh, what that is, I'm gonna go into each of the four categories more in depth, like word for word from Facebook like when you have to choose the special ad category for certain types of campaigns, etc. So category one is credit. So ads that promote or directly link to a credit opportunity, including but not limited to credit card offers, auto loans, personal or business loan services, mortgage loans, and long-term financing. This also includes brand ads for credit cards, regardless of a specific offer. And then I just have a disclaimer down here. Um, this is from Facebook and I just wanted to uh, point this out. This is not a comprehensive list of examples and does not constitute legal advice. The credit employment and housing opportunities or related services requirements apply to advertisers based in or targeting the US and will launch in Canada soon. So I just wanted to throw that little disclaimer out there. So category number two, this is employment. So employment opportunity. Ads that promote or directly link to an employment opportunity, including but not limited to part or full-time jobs, internships, or professional certification programs. Related ads that fall within this category include promotions for job boards or fairs, aggregation services, or ads detailing perks a company may provide regardless of a specific job offer. So that's category number two. Number three is housing. So housing opportunity or related service Ads that promote or directly link to a housing opportunity or related service, including but not limited to the listings for the sale or rental of a home or apartment, homeowners insurance, mortgage insurance, mortgage loans, housing repairs, and home equity or appraisal services. And keep in mind, this does not include ads designed to educate consumers or housing providers about their rights and responsibilities under fair housing laws. You can include the equal opportunity housing logo and slogan to help differentiate your ads as non-discriminatory. And then lastly, um, this is one that you probably don't have to worry about if you're just on this channel to learn about affiliate marketing, but I'm gonna go over it anyways. So category four is social issues, elections, or politics. So I'll quickly cover this. Ads made by, on behalf of, or about a candidate for public office, a political figure, a political party or advocates for the outcome of an election to a public office or about any election referendum or ballot initiative including go out and vote election campaigns ads regulated as political advertising about social issues in any place where the ad is being placed social issues are sensitive topics that are heavily debated may influence the outcome of an election result in or relate to existing or proposed legislation Ads about social issues seek to influence public opinion through discussion, debate, or advocacy for or against important topics like health and civil and social rights. So choosing a special ad category, you can go to the special ad category in the campaign section, click on, and then declare which category your campaign falls under. Is it credit, employment, housing, or social issues, elections, or politics? So for example, if I was promoting an auto loan offer, I'd choose credit. So targeting restrictions, um, certain targeting isn't available and this includes lookalike audiences. But to help you reach people who may be interested in your ad, you can create a special ad audience, which will create an audience based on similarities in online behavior and activity, but that does not use certain categories, including age, gender, zip code, or other similar categories. So you can't use regular lookalike audiences, but you can use special ad category lookalike audiences, essentially. So targeting restrictions. Some detailed targeting options, which may include demographics, behaviors, or interests are unavailable. Excluding any detailed targeting sections is unavailable as well. So for example, for an auto loan, I could not choose any age range because it must be at 18 to 65. I could not choose any gender, it must be left on all. And then I could not target demographics or behaviors. I can only go through interest targeting. 
So the detailed targeting sections are very limited and that's kind of a bummer with the special ad category because I love being able to target certain demographics and behaviors and age ranges too. But now it's just interest targeting and even the interest targeting is uh, limited as well. So do special ad category campaigns work? Well, even though the targeting options are extremely limited, it is still worth it to run these types of campaigns in my personal opinion. As long as you have a good offer that allows pixel placement, you can run uh, ads that fall in the special ad categories profitably. And this is just my opinion. I, I'm still running like three different campaigns in the special ad category at this moment. And the offers that I'm running right now, they do allow pixel placement on the uh, thank you page, the offer thank you page. So I am choosing a conversion objective and having Facebook optimize my campaigns for that conversion. And they've been running just fine. So thanks for watching this video on the special ad category. I hope you got some value. Uh, make sure to like this video, comment if you have any questions or concerns about the special ad category. And lastly, subscribe to my YouTube channel, Cody Knows. Hit that notification bell to stay up to date with all my future videos. And I will see you in the next video. Peace.